Welcome, my name is Fred and today we are going to be talking about how to set up a media server using DLNA and Mesmo. Now first let's talk a little bit about what DLNA is and why we would use it for a media server. So DLNA allows us to put all of our media files, video, pictures, music, all on a central server and then using the DLNA technology we can stream it to various devices, different TVs in our houses, or even to a smartphone. So what you're going to need to set it up is you're going to need a computer for your server, and this can just be a uh, computer that you already have in your house. The only thing is that it has to stay on in order for you to stream your uh, video and your media to your different devices. You're going to need a DLNA server software, in this case we're going to use Mesmo and you're going to need DLNA devices for your TVs. Now some TVs already come with the DLNA. Uh, a lot of Blu-ray players do Xbox 360, PlayStation 3. Um, if you're wondering if you have it or not, just look for this little DLNA logo on your device. Now let's jump over here to Mesmo and we'll take a look at it real quick and show you how to get it set up. Once you install it, installing is really easy, just step through the different things we have it here and we're gonna add a video to our library so we're just gonna to go to add library and in this case I just want to add one file we can add an entire folder and I've already got it pulled up here on my computer we're gonna pull up the Smurfs trailer it's gonna ask if you want it to add to a playlist we can do that if we already have a playlist and this is really useful if you have uh, seasons if you're watching um, a TV series and you have different episodes Okay, and now we're going to go into our video files, and we're going to see it right here. Now this has a funny name because I ripped it off of this, uh, the Zookeeper DVD. Now we're going to go down to properties. Now, this is one of the features that I really like about Mesmo, is we can go in here and we can put in the title of the movie. It's in English, and we can search. This will take just a second, and it will give us different results. Now it's not that one. We're going to find the Smurfs movie the Smurfs 2011 and we're gonna say OK and now what this does is it automatically fills everything in the title who's in the movie um, the album it doesn't really work very well with that um, I prefer to put in the as you can see here the studio um, it's gonna fill in your genre a year and it's gonna give you your artwork it's really nice it puts everything in including a little description about the video Okay, so now we have it here. Now the other thing that's nice about Mesmo is that it automatically does what's called transcoding. So if your device that you're going to be watching this on, if this isn't in the right format for it, it will automatically convert it to the right format. Now we're going to do a, it's called a pre-transcoding so that it's already ready to play. So we're going to pre-transcode the files and I'm going to find my Xbox, choose format, Okay, and it only comes up with the one. This is the format that we needed in to play it on the Xbox. I'm going to leave this the default only pre-transcode files that have not been pre-transcoded yet. And what this does is if it's already been uh, transcoded into this file format, it's not going to do it again. It's just going to skip it. We're going to click OK. It's going to ask, yeah, do you want to do this? Yes. Okay. Um, says that they were not queued because this already matches. Okay, so let's pick a different device here. This one here I found will play on almost everything. The default Mesmo transcoding, it'll play on my Blu-ray, it'll play on my Samsung TV with the DLNA. And so we're gonna yes. Okay, it has been queued for pre-transcoding and you can see down here that it is transcoding and how what percentage it's at. Now the only advantage to that is that when we go to watch the movie, it's actually going to look better, have a higher quality video because it's not in the middle of transcoding while it's trying to play it. Okay. One of the other things that's nice about Mesmo is how it sets up your different folders by default. So we have our all video folders. We can pull up a certain artist, creator, file type, folders, genres. We'll come back to that one in just a second. The last 50 played, recently added as top 50 rated and pull them up by year. Okay, so the only thing that I found 
that I really don't like about Mesmo is that when we put a genre in here, you'll see this has several different. It's animation, family, adventure, and comedy. However, in this folder here, it puts that one all together instead of making an animation, a family genre, an adventure, a comedy genre. It'd be really nice if it could detect those commas and filter out into different ones, but it doesn't do that. So let's go ahead and move on. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on my Xbox, and we are going to stream this movie that we just put in here in, onto the Xbox and play it on the TV. Here we have my Xbox 360, and what we're going to do is we're going to stream that Smurfs trailer to my Xbox. So it's really easy to do. What I'm going to do is go over to Video, My Video Apps, and I'm going to choose the Video Player. And you'll see here Mesmo comes up right here at the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and pick it. Here's the different um, categories. We can choose Music, Photos, or Video. And then here's all of those different folders that we were talking about, all those default ones. Artist, creator, file type, folder, genre, last played. And what we're going to find here in the all video files, here's those videos that I have on here. Here's the Smurfs. Comes up with a nice little picture that we have on there, and we can go ahead and play it. It actually looks really good. Um, it doesn't look so good on this because of the camera picking up the TV, but you can trust me, it actually does look very good on the TV. So we're going to go ahead and go back. We can pick any other video that we want. We can go in and pick by genre. Now this is where the genres, if they split them up, would be a lot nicer. We can look at the last 50 that have played, ones that have been recently added. So you have a lot of them in here. Pull them up by year. So that's pretty much it. How does you can set up a media server with the DLNA and Mesmo? Uh, Mesmo is one of the better ones that I've found. I've tried some free ones. They don't do the transcoding right, or they have problems with it. They have problems streaming. Um, Mesmo is not free software. You do have to buy it, but I think it's well worth the money, and it's definitely something that you should add if you want to do a home media server. That concludes this presentation. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them in the comments box down below. If I get enough responses, then we'll do a follow-up video and we'll go into some of the more advanced features of Mesmo and we'll show you how to really customize it for your use. Again, leave your comments down below and we'll see you next time.